Welcome, today we gonna talk about Zoloids Quintly. Please subscribe for more amazing videos. For more information on this topic and full coverage, check out the link in the description. The Aztecs believed that the Zoloid Squintly was created from a sliver of the bone of life, which also gave rise to all of humanity. The Zoloid Squintly, also known as the Mexican Hairless or simply the Zolo, pronounced Xolo, for short, is among the most ancient and venerable of all dog breeds in the world. The ancient people of Mexico believed that the Zolo would help guide the soul of its owner on the journey to the underworld. After the rise of the Aztec civilization, the breed was associated with their dog-headed god of death, Zolitl. The modern Zolo is characterized by a sleek body, a wedge-shaped head, large bat-like ears either erect or floppy, an expressive face, and a wrinkled forehead. Spotted is allowed as well. Today the Zolo is mostly intended as an indoor dog. It makes for an excellent watchdog and companion around the home. 3 Pros and Cons of Owning a Zoloid Squintly Pros Affectionate with the family, the Zoloid Squintly is a loyal and protective friend. Good for allergy sufferers, the hairless version is a great choice for people with serious allergies. Extremely healthy Cons Separation anxiety, this breed needs plenty of social and mental stimulation throughout the day. Sensitive skin, because of its hairless trait, the Zolo skin is sensitive to sunlight, bad weather, and environmental irritants. Reserved with strangers, the Zolo prefers familiar faces rather than new ones. Zoloit's quintly size and weight. The Zoloit's quintly comes in three different sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. The toy version usually measures between 10 and 15 pounds. The miniature is 15 to 30 pounds. Finally, the standard is 30 to 55 pounds. Zoloid's Quintly Common Health Issues Since it was allowed to develop freely with little artificial selection by humans, the Zoloid Quintly has few inheritable health problems that plague other breeds. This also means it has an excellent life span of 13 to 18 years. They do suffer from dry skin, some drug sensitivities, cancer, and joint issues. How to take care of the Zoloid Squintly While some prior dog ownership experience is recommended, the Zoloid Squintly is a good choice for many different types of owners. This breed can adapt to a wide range of different living situations and daily schedules, and owners won't need to spend too much time on grooming and care. The Zoloids Quintly and Children The Zoloids Quintly should get along fairly well with children of all ages. The only caveat is that they may not like rough play if it means their ears and tail are pulled. All interactions between your children and your dog should be supervised by an adult. Zoloid Squintly Maintenance and Grooming Grooming the Zoloid Squintly should be a relatively easy task. The coated variety requires minimum brushing, probably no more than once a week. The hairless variety will need to be wiped down with a damp cloth and bathed with a light moisturizer, but bathing too often may strip the natural oils from the skin. The Best Dog Food for Zoloid Squintly Dogs Remember to take your Zolo size and activity level into account for proper food portioning. Additionally, Zolo's skin needs a little extra TLC. So look for dog food that helps prevent dry skin and contains ample, natural nutrition to keep cancers and joint issues at bay. Zoloid Squintly Training The Zoloid Squintly is a highly trainable breed, eager to learn and good at following instructions. But these are sensitive dogs that benefit from positive reinforcement methods and respond very poorly to harsh words and actions. Owners will need to set boundaries early and remain consistent throughout the entire process. Thank you for checking this video. If you wish to give your opinion, please comment below. We love to hear from you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time.